hey y'all welcome back to my video today's video is going to be about this lovely waxing kit that was sent to me um a company reached out to me and they wanted me to do a review on this complete waxing kit so i am going to open this this is everything you need for waxing so when you open the box it comes with these waxing beads, hard wax, which is the only wax that I use. This one has tea tree oil for smooth and silky skin, perfect for all skin types, and it is natural ingredients. Okay, so I got two green ones. What's this? Oh, some blue ones. The blue one is eucalyptus. Uh, lavender and this one is lemon hmm no strips required perfect and then I got these um, sticks that come with it for stirring and applying and um, I guess these are like if you want to do a small area maybe like your top lip or something like that and then it comes with um, pre-wax spray to clean and moisten the area that you are going to wax. Wow, with coconut scent. Hmm. All right. And a after wax spray. So I guess this removes. Oh yeah, removes wax residue after you wax. This also has a coconut scent. All right, I'm excited, y'all. I'm really excited. This will save me having to pay. To wax certain areas i mean i don't know if i'll be able to wax my bikini but <laughs> let's see um wax like a pro quick beginner guy okay great these are cute nice okay uh what's this all right so these are instructions Quick beginner guide and this explains how to get your waxing kit started and um yeah so it's saying here that you could be allergic to waxing so they would like for you to do a wet a patch test test out a small area first to see you know if you have any type of reaction to this type of thing Okay, so the hair must be a minimum of one fourth of an inch long um, to wax effectively. Your, your skin should be clean and dry. Then it says pour wax into the wax warmer and allow the beads to melt until the, the, it's the consistency of honey. If the wax is too hot when applied, it will burn your hair and skin and might leave a rash. Test on a small area first. Apply with pressure. Using the applicator, apply the wax in the direction of hair growth. Work in small, manageable sections. Cool it. Wait 30 to 45 seconds and allow the wax to harden. It's ready to remove as soon as it's no longer sticky to the touch. Pull it. Hold skin taut. Flick the edge of the wax up and pull quickly in the opposite direction of the hair growth. All right. All right, and these are just instructions on how to uh, prepare for your wax, like to exfoliate skin, avoid lotions before waxing, sunbathing, tanning, avoid drinking alcohol, coffee, and um, stuff like that. So it's telling that you can, um, sorry, you can wax your eyebrows, upper lip, chin, cheeks, underarms, bikini, and Brazilian area. I wonder if you can do your legs. So yeah, um, let me plug in this thing and let it get warmed up. One second. Inside uh, came the lids. And I guess the lids go on top of these two bottles. 
so you can spray it easier. This is the tin can that the bees are going to go into. So the first instruction says, oh, that's not it. Okay, pour chest wellness wax beads into the pot and turn the temperature to max for faster results. Put the lid on. So I think I wanna try the, um, Try the um the lemon one. So it says when the wax is half melted, take the lid off and set your desired temperature to 150 to 170 degrees, depending on the area. Alright, so let me just put the beads in here and let them start to melt. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower because um just to like clean my skin even more before I apply the other stuff to my skin okay um, pouring the beads in and that's how it looks and right now it's at its max um and as you can see the numbers are going up as it's getting hotter and i'm going to just put the lid on And I'm going to just let that melt and then I'll come back. So the kit, um, the wax warmer turned green. So I guess that means that it's reached its highest um, heat or the highest that it goes. So um, I still have the beads in here. Um, they started to melt just a little bit on the corners. Nothing too crazy yet, but yeah. Okay, so the wax has melted. And it smells really good. I don't know why, but I love how wax smells. Um, let's see if it's like a honey consistency. Uh, it's a little runny right now. But I turned it down and I took the lid off. So maybe once, so it, starts once to cool. it starts to cool, it'll thicken up some. So yeah. The numbers are going down now. I put, I put it to... Uh, 150 170 because that's what it's said to do depending on the area so yeah let's just wait a little bit and see hey guys so now that the wax is ready i am going to open this pre-wax bottle All right, so this is the top. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna spray it because I'm gonna wax my underarms for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna, I guess, just spray it. And then just wipe off just in case any lotion got on me when I was lotioning. Any oils. It smells really good. Wow. Okay. That's that. Now, how can I do this? Because, yeah, I'll just dip and come back. Okay. <laughs> so I just took a little bit of wax and I'm gonna just put it on my arm just to make sure it's not too warm. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. That's not bad. So, <clears throat> I'm
so I put it on my underarm. I'm gonna let it dry for a few seconds. It says wait 30 to 45 seconds, which I believe has passed at this point. All right. First, I'm going to do this little piece that's on my hand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It definitely took off some. Hold on. Took off some hairs. All right, guys. <sighs> One, two, wait, let me lift up all the edges. I didn't apply this correctly. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Okay. 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 All that hair came out of my underarms. I gotta finish the job, so. I'm letting it dry. Okay, it's time. <laughs> it says to hold down, but it's hard to do that when, like maybe if I go like this, let's see. I'm holding down like this. Okay, that one was much better. That was much better. Holding down actually relieves some of the pain. Can you see that? It dries really quick, literally in like 30, 30 to 45 seconds it dries. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing by holding down over here and lifting up the bottom. I think it could just still dry a little more. This is crazy. All right, so that was one underarm. 
and I'm going to use the So now I'm going to use the after wax spray to remove the extra little pieces. Of wax from my arm. And that's that, guys. I did it. Oh, I still got a little piece of wax there, but this is how my underarm looks now. Hair free. And I'm gonna go ahead and do, so yeah, that's how this underarm looks now. No hair, hair free, nice and moisturized. All the excess wax is off and go ahead and do the other underarm which you guys don't need to really see both sides so yeah but I do want to show you guys how much hair was on the wax strips so look at these strips not strips but um, look at the hard wax that so you can see all the little hairs that came out of my underarms isn't that crazy i'm just happy though because i won't have to pay to get my underarms waxed i can just do it myself i can literally do my whole body but yeah <laughs> all right you guys can let me know how you guys like this kit um down in the comments below also, I will have a 5% off coupon that you guys can use if you want to get your own kit. This is off of Amazon.com. Um, I am going to link everything down below and you guys will be able to get your own at-home wax kit with a little discount. So uh, let me know how you, what you think about this kit. Let me know if you think I did a good or bad job, which is probably bad. But I'm learning and I'm going to keep continuing to use this kit. And eventually i know i'm gonna have to order some more beads so yeah thank you guys for watching and you guys have a good day thank you bye bye